Assalamu alaikum, hello everyone, guess who's back with yes another B&M haul, it's me, it's me. <laughs> so I really wanted to film this haul as qu as quickly as I could so that I can start putting these things away. This is another home haul obviously and I actually went in just to get a dinner set and ended up coming out with a lot more but the dinner set that I purchased, whoa, is this one. So if you watched my last haul you'll know that I already have a marble dinner set and that is more than enough for Wakara and I but when we have friends and family over we want more than four plates sometimes. So I got this 12 piece set with embossed hearts on it. It's just white and it's plain. I was considering getting the marble one again I was like, no, let's switch it up a little. Let's have some different plates. And I originally wanted to get the matte pink one, which I think is only available online. But then I, I needed these plates for this week because we're having my uh, in-laws over today. So I'm a bit like, so much to do. I need to put the bedding on that bed and I need to put the bins out and I need to like make sure the kitchen's all prepped and wash the dishes and film this video. <laughs> but yeah, this is a set that I got. Oh, did not like the sound of that. Hopefully all is well in there. By the way, that annoying squeaking sound is going to be dealt with this weekend, inshallah. I promise. Trust me, it's annoying me more than it's annoying any of you guys. It's the, as I found out yesterday on Instagram, my alarm telling me that the battery needs to be changed. No, I knew it. I knew one of the plates was broken. So one of the bowls is broken. So I think I'm going to take this back actually. Right, hopefully the rest of this haul is more successful. So I've been needing to get a soap dispenser for the bathroom for a very long time. I saw this set which I didn't see in the other B&Ms I went to. Um, it's nothing like particularly special but I just didn't want to get a set that, you know, was rose gold or like more kitchen themed. You guys probably would have seen our bathroom by now. It's like very oldy and like very floral and whatever. Um, but the storage boxes that I've got for them, which are from Lidl, kind of match the wooden decor and the bin kind of matches that. And I was thinking like I could get a wooden set, but I was like, you know what, no. I'd rather just get something like this, which is easy to clean. And um, this is just like a gun metal gray color. It's a boutique collection and this was £3.50. And I just like the detailing of the metal on there and obviously holds a decent amount. And then I got the matching little tumbler thing. And this was £2.50. So this is obviously gonna be for like our toothbrushes and toothpaste. And I think just the set together does look really nice. And then I saw this really, really gorgeous planter and it was six pounds, it's Paradise Lux Gold Planter. I have seen a few of these floating about on different sites and different stores, but oftentimes I don't like the finish of the wood. I like this, it kind of matches better with the golden. Sometimes I have like a really pine colored wood for this and I'm just like, nah, it's not a cute vibe. So I can't wait to decide which plant I'm gonna put in here. Um, I have recently brought two more plants from Lidl, by the way. I'm not sure what could fit in here, but when I decide, I'll show you guys. I really hope my sister-in-law doesn't see this video because <laughs> she's seen my as a floral collection and it's not a joke. However, I wanted to pick up another one of these. This is a Sephora winter morning scent and I used this scent this morning actually in the bathroom and it's just a really, really nice smell. Please don't ask me to describe it in my own words. I will read it to you guys though. So it says, the cool, fresh fragrance combining mint and sweet vanilla with a, season with a touch of seasonal spices. I just think it's really a really nice bathroom scent, you know? Like, I personally don't like the whole lemon scent in the bathroom. Like, I know it's a fresh scent, but it's just not my fave. And I've been using Zaflora quite a lot to obviously just disinfect things, but also to just make sure that the, that the drains are nice and clean and fresh. And I just love the fact that it has a really good smell. And then within that theme, I also purchased this one pound spray bottle. I just like the fact that it looks quite different. You know, it's got the, th the four, four tiered thing here. And I can't remember if it says how many millimeters it is. But when I figure out, which I will, because I do take the concentrating and mixing of this quite seriously. So when I figure out that how much it is, I'll let you guys know. I reckon it's gonna have like two lizards of flora in here. 
and this will be good for just around the house because like I said I've got one in my bedroom and then I've got one in the kitchen so this will be good for just disinfecting areas around the house. I finally managed to get us a set of salt and pepper shakers. These were so cute you guys. Look the little mason jar salt and pepper shakers and they were only £2 which I thought was a really 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 fair price. So they're literally glass little mason jars and then at the top you've got the S and the P. I will just take these out. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Sorry. ouch. That's it. Uh. They're just so adorable. Look, there's a pea for pepper. And you just have to unscrew the lid as per. And I just love it. Whenever you need a bit of pepper, you know. And same with the salt. But then I saw, because like I said, this was the larger store, so they had a much better range than the other ones. I think I will have to be going to that one from now on. But I had to, like, I just could not resist purchasing this. So this is a gourmet gift co so it's like a, in one of their like gift sets but it wasn't a kitchen area and this is the london salt and pepper shaker how cute is this so this was three pounds for the two of them and i'll just show you guys nice and close you literally have the cutest little red post box and you have a red telephone for those of you guys who might know i was actually born in london i have a lot of family in london like london's always going to be close to my heart and I thought this was really, really cute. Now, it does say salt and pepper on there, in, um, like, salt on the post box and pepper on the telephone box. But do you know what? I was thinking of using these for chilli flakes, if the holes are big enough. Chilli flakes and, yeah, one of them could be for salt, I guess. But, like, these could pretty much just be in our sitting room because that's kind of where we've been eating. We don't have... A dining table like a kitchen's not big enough really for a dining table we may still purchase like those tall stools that you can get like the bar stools for the kitchen but I, I think at the moment we're both enjoying just like grabbing the food and then taking it right into the next room which is the living room and just sitting on the sofa and eating there so yeah these can just live there because they're actually really cute as decor pieces as well and oh I just could not resist it so that was part of like their Christmas collection but also just really cute, you know? It's nice to have cute things in the house. And I'm nearly done, actually. This is not going to be a very long video at all, which is good. But I purchased another two-piece bath mat set. This is $8.99. And this is, as you can tell, quite a boring beige colour. But I just don't understand why a lot of brands, even B&M as well, um, don't have sets like these, like a wide range of sets, because they had, like from red to black in just the noodle bath mats but then it didn't have the matching toilet bit and surely you always would need that bit because that's also like a comfort thing yeah I just I don't really understand why that's quite hard to find I was looking around at different shops and like even different supermarkets I haven't looked at Asda yet but I thought for $8.99 this was fine it will do the job and it is 100% cotton which is great and I'm actually going to put these down like right now because our other ones have been down for a week and a half and they could do with a bit of a wash and then the last things that i purchased were surprise surprise more hangers these are three pounds for eight and these are the gray ones they've got a little heart i think in them have these got the heart design oh no they haven't well i've got the heart design ones but these are just apparently these are space saving and they've got the trouser bar yeah we've essentially pretty much finished unpacking all our clothes and organizing all our clothes alhamdulillah like thanks to Sophie Baju that was done pretty quickly but one thing that keeps coming up again and again is the lack of hangers and like we'll think we're done and then it'll be like another bag of clothes and we're like oh we need more hangers <laughs> So fingers crossed, this is going to be the last set of hangers that we need to buy for a while. I'm not planning on buying any clothes anytime soon, but I do actually have a big bag that says Icarus Winter Jumpers that is in my wardrobe, like on the floor a bit right now. So I'll definitely be using these hangers to hang some of those up because boy, is it getting cold right now. And then the last thing that I got is this marble chopping board. This was three pounds. I found it funny because it was like double sided chopping board. Like, um, aren't these plastic ones like toys double sided? Don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I just like the design, and I thought three pounds was a good price. Again, like these little bits and bobs in this haul, I've kind of been looking for 
um, across like my home shopping time that I've been spending in all these shops and I've not found like the best ones but because I saw the biggest store and it had more of a range I was able to find the things I wanted so I hope you guys enjoyed that haul if you picked anything up from B&M recently then do let me know down below in the comments I love B&M and that's quite obvious I'm even being tagged in B&M um, memes now that's how you know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna put all these things away and then get ready to see our family and hopefully to get that squeaky thing replaced. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Take care guys, bye.